Uh, there were a few passing through. He was wearing Gucci. And she out took the time to scold this dude and say, yo, you're tripping for wearing Gucci and supporting So now, of course, the gentleman that T.A. was talking with, um, he didn't agree with T.I., of course, right? Uh, T.I. can quote him with saying that, yeah, they showed me their disrespect, and guess what? I can't do it no more, T.I. argued. Um, he was one of the first people, again, you know, that got mad when Gucci dropped uh, that sweater. But here's my thing, right? I, I get it, man. We're, we're trying to become more uniform when it comes to initiatives like this, right? When we want to make a movement or we want to make a, a, a moment, a movement into a moment, and get a message out, right? We, we, we have to hold each other accountable. Now, is this an example of T.I. holding another brother accountable by scolding and berating him about wearing good jeans of it? Or is T.I. out of bounds for just randomly approaching the dude who's minding his own business about this guy's own clothing line? Now, it's, it's not an easy thing to say. Um, I mean, you know what? T.I. has every right to go up on to say whatever he wants, just as much as everybody else has a right to not care, right? Um, but how would you feel if somebody came to you and was trying to hold you to a standard that you're not even sure about, right? And, you know, you got, you know, called the Kaepernick taking the knee. We got all kinds of issues nowadays. And one thing we do often as Black people is that we try to talk to each other and hold each other accountable about certain issues. But I think what we do is we overstep the boundaries sometimes and say, hey, man, you're tripping, right? Um, my thing is this. To you don't know exactly yeah. the content of that conversation. But I think what's really important is how you initiate the conversation when you're trying to hold someone else accountable, right? Try to get their perspective and see, hey, man, um, did you hear about such and such? I mean, what's your take on it? And then, depending on that person's response, then we can go that route and have that conversation. I can only assume. Right? None of us really know exactly what happened or what we said because we weren't there. Um, I commend T.I. for doing something like that, but I mean, if the world were reversed and somebody wanted to try to approach a uh, try to approach a public figure, hold them accountable, I mean, we may not get the same kind of conversation, right? Uh, so, I, I say this once again. Yes, we should be cautious about things and try to hold each other accountable to man. It, it's you know, I, I feel the same thing you feel, or, hey, you and I are not too far apart when it comes to situations in life. Um, I see you're not on the same path as I am, but I'm just curious. You know, what's your story? What's your background? At least doing that myself in a you know, conversation, hopefully that'll be better more uh, after that. But uh, we're going to keep you out with hip-hop, and uh, like I mentioned, we'll get y'all some Caribbean music in the next hour, so you definitely want to stay locked for that. We'll do this on Friday. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Class Act Radio, RadioPhoenix.org. It's your show, the Cheeseburger. But of course, be sure to check me out on Instagram at Cheeseburger Live. That's C H E E S E B U R G E R L I V E.
What's going on? I'm out here right now, Radio Phoenix. Shout out to Cheeseburger Man Class Act Radio Live right now. You're hearing the, the one and only Machiavelli. Yes, indeed. We're gonna, we're gonna play some uh some old school. You know what I mean? Can I can I can I play some uh some some nice reggae, some some nice uh, love love song for you over there? I appreciate all the love and support. Most definitely, Class Act Radio is in the building. You, you guys can call me 602-354-8823. Oh, man. Uh, YouTube, I'm sorry. I think I'm too close on YouTube. But everybody out there, I appreciate all the love and support, man. Tupac in the town. No stop. Oh, I got it now. Oh, no. We get around. Hey, make your money out there. Make your money, man. I mean, just make your money out there, man. Whatever you do, man, whatever you put your your mind into, you know what I mean? Just make your money, man. You know what I mean? Most definitely, man. Yeah. Shout out to everybody out there. You know what I mean? Hey, you don't know me. You just met me. You won't let me. So set me up. I get around, I get around. Search for a new guy. If you do, are you down? I get around. Tupac in the town, don't stop for hoes. I get around. Hey, hey, hey. It's Friday. I don't know what y'all doing this Friday. I don't know what y'all doing this Friday. But I'm out here right now. You know what I'm saying? Workflow, Friday nights. Hey, I get around. I get around. Woo woo. Let's get this West Coast in. Pop in. Get you some Snoop Dogg now. Drop it like it's hot. Hold on. Okay, after the Snoop Dogg, I'm going to switch up to manual. Bam, 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 bam. With the crib in the crib, man, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. What did what he say? V video status change from preview to live. The live status receiving. Oh, gosh. Facebook with them snitches, yo. Because I got to go going on. Zoot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Radio things are ORG, man. When the valor comes to talk, sing, and connect. Appreciate all the love out there. Man, happy Friday. Be uh stay blessed. Was definitely uh be good to each other. Uh it's uh mental awareness month. Uh so I'm gonna be able to talk about some uh some stuff that some folks don't don't you like to talk. So you know it's uh you know it's it's you know you got, we gotta be aware of what's what's happening, especially with depression. Uh you know, I have a guest tomorrow. I'm just substituting for my brother cheeseburger. Big up to cheeseburger man. When they get in the crib, my drop it like it's high, drop it like it's high, drop it like it's high. Hey, 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 you park it like it's hot, I park it like it's hot. What? Drop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, wrap it like it's hot. We show the love and support, man. Radio Phoenix, we're in the building. I'm not your favorite DJ, but I like to say hello to all of y'all, okay? Most definitely. So if I'm your favorite person, you can join me right now tonight. You know, we're live right now, Radio Phoenix. Shout out to our Mr. Mr. Tom in the building. Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom. I have some problem. Help me, Mr. Tom. Help me. Oh, no, I just wanted to. I just want to say something to everybody. Everybody was asking about you. So. 
Let me sit some right there. Yeah. You yeah, no, then now they can see you. Now, no, now they can see you. There you go. That's right. That's right. Yes, 65 this week, people. Yes, yes. Indeed. Like don't crack. <laughs> I'm his senior. Oh yeah. <laughs> you already know I'm gonna look like him. Sexy like that. You already know. <laughs> oh hey. shout out to everybody out there. I hope you guys are having a blessed cool day. Most definitely. So yes, uh I wanna be able to elaborate on you know a lot of, uh you know a lot of stuff going on. Okay, let me let me read this. Okay, I'm gonna read it real quick, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna read it real quick. So I got to uh drop it like it's high, drop it like it's high. Oh Pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like it's hot. Yeah, class X radio. We are live in the building. Yes, we are live in the building. Y'all here live right now. Snoop Doggy Dog, the dog father. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, we, we, you know, we'll we, we get you to that. We'll get you to Like that, indeed. Yeah, well, you already know. So I do apologize. We are live right now, live and direct at RadioFace.org. Where the valor comes to talk to connect. So y'all just heard a little rerun. You know what I'm saying? Big up to Cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Class Act Radio every Friday from 9 p.m. until 11 p.m. I know everybody out there probably are asking, what is Mr. Clean B doing here? What are you doing here, Mr. Clean B? What's going on, Mr. Clean B? What is going on? Hey, man. Why come I can't hear no music in the background, Mr. Crazy? Because, you know, we like to hear the real stuff, Mr. Crazy. Oh, yes, indeed. Y'all know how we do. So I want to say, everybody out there, thank you for uh, for joining us, for uh, taking the time to listen to us live at RadioPhoenix.org, where the dollar comes to talk, send, and connect. And I appreciate all everybody out there showing love, you know, to Class Act Radio, showing love to Phoenix, uh, RadioPhoenix.org. Just show love to your whole family more definitely because you know how we do. You know what I'm saying? We stay committed to the movement. And uh, there you go. Now we got the music going on right now. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, Mr. Clean B. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a substitute, just like a substitute teacher. Big up to everybody out there, RadioFins.org. Uh, most definitely now. I want to let you know that uh, one way you can support Radio Phoenix is by becoming one of our members. For as little as $35 per year, members receive discount savings and other benefits provided by our membership uh, program partners. And don't forget, the membership fee is tax deductible. For more information or to sign up, you can call 480-829-5746 or go online to radiofinish.org. Click on the support tab at the top and then become a member on the drop-down menu. We thank you for your generous support of Community Radio Radio. Yes, indeed. Class Act Radio. Class at radio. Yes, we are in the building. Oh, we are in the building. Okay, let me stop right now. Man, I want to give I want to give a big shout out, man. Big shout out to my brother Novi, man. Novi, keep your head up, my brother. I, I hear you. I got something for you today, tomorrow. Keep your head up. I'm gonna keep on praying for you, brother, man. Uh, you already know you, you know, you always support me. So I, I you know so I got your back and and I want to make sure that you put you put you, know, you put up to what you're going through right now. Keep your head up, boss man. And you know we love you, man. So you come back to us, man. I, I, I need you in Phoenix, boss. Man. I need you in Phoenix, man. I need you in Phoenix. You know what I mean? So most definitely, man. Uh, I just want to just um, most definitely. I know uh, I'm taking my brother's uh, place, replacement today, but he he will be back. He will be back tomorrow. I mean, I'm sorry, next Friday. Excuse me. I'll be back again tomorrow on the Echo With Me Radio Cast. Right now, I'm live on YouTube and I'm live on Live Me and on my Facebook and I'm also live at Radio Phoenix. That org where the value comes to talk to and connect, and uh, and, and I just wanted to talk about some things because uh, I know a lot of people are out there, to, you know, uh, talking about what happened, you know, uh, with the Alabamas and with the with the Georgias with all the little abortion ban. But you know, I'm not going to elaborate on this show on that. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know the Yaga Movement Radio Cast is going to be tomorrow at 2 p.m. and I have Sister Lydia. 
It's going to be in the building, West Africa. In the building. I, sh I, should, I should say Africa, because every time I say West Africa, people think I'm all trying to be a separatist, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is I have a queen coming up to, you know, to the podium at RadioFlings.org. She's going to come in and elaborate, educate us about a lot of things that we need to, uh, to, need to learn, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm glad that she's going to come and join the show. And also, don't forget, uh, myself and DJ K are going to be at the Find Yourself on uh, May 31st, which is Friday, May 31st. Uh, so DJ K Entertainment, uh, Safari Sounds Entertainment, uh, you know, uh, Afro Boutique by Shante, B.I. Collection, the, the whole nine. Uh, we're going to be out there supporting the movement most definitely. Uh, and it's going to be Find Yourself and, you know, uh, you know, reaching out to the community and bring awareness to, uh, to depression. And which I want, I would like to elaborate on that most definitely because, um, you know, people think that when they when they speak about depression, they they have this, uh, you know, this notion that uh, depression is just, uh, you know, it's just you know, uh, you know, if you you know, it's just a, a mental challenge, or if you're in a group or uh, if you want to, you know, or if you do something, you know, abnormal, you know, out of your beings, uh, a lot of times people don't realize that you know, uh, mental depression is. You know, it's an everyday thing. It's an everyday situation. You know, uh, you know uh, I, 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 talk, I talk to a lot of people about, about you know, mental depression. Uh, we all suffer from mental depression, trust me. We, you know, I, I was telling all my peers, you know, some, some folks think that, oh, well, just because this person is, you know, had, you know is diagnosed with bipolar or, or is diagnosed with schizophrenic, uh, that, you know, they have to be, they ought to be different than, than myself or anybody else out there who are acting normal. Now, you know, depression comes, you know, from all walks of you have, you know, you have your minuscule depression to your grandma depression. And, you know, and there is no, you know, there's no separation when it comes to depression. When someone is, when someone is frustrated, sad, or upset to someone, you know, wants to uh, hurt themselves, hurt others, or, you know, or feeling awkwardly among themselves or not feeling, you know, that, you know, they are, you know, uh, they are out there for the world to, you know, uh, to prosper. Depression comes from all walks of life. And, you know, this is the month of uh, awareness, you know, to bring that awareness already. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, uh, I tell a few people out there, you know, it's, it's always good to reach out to, to others. You know, it's always good to reach out to your peers out there. Uh, it's always good to, uh, to reach those out there who if you haven't heard from, you know, you can be able to uh, let them know, hey, like, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm reaching out to you. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we, we get, you know, like we, you know, and myself, and I, I put myself in that too, because in a lot of times, you know, you, when you get caught up in, in work, when you get caught up in, in, in whatever livelihood that you, that you get your, get your mind into, it's kind of hard to, you know, to, uh, you know, to think of others. I'm not making this as an excuse. I, I believe this is a, this is a, a concern, and and I know a lot of times uh, I, I give a story uh, about you know my uh, my, my sister-in-law, rest in peace, Parker Wyatt. You know where uh, she you know she was going through some mental challenge, and uh, you know and, and I, I say it was my fault that I probably didn't learn about it. I was ignorant about it, but I didn't realize I didn't realize the seriousness of you know of you know of uh, the depression that she was going through, and unfortunately, uh, she committed suicide. Rest in peace. Uh, and I have to learn from there. I have to learn, you know, to pay attention to others. Uh, I know sometimes, you know, like a lot of time when you know people don't want to, you know, uh, you know, have other people to uh, face uh, the depression and whatnot, or be able to, you know, uh, bring the problem, you know, to the forefront. Uh, but uh, but most definitely, um, I just wanted to let everybody know out there that no matter what you do in life, you know, be able to reach out to others out there, you know, uh, be able to tell someone that you love them, you know what I mean? And, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe uh, I forget to tell people that I love them or I, I miss them or think about them a lot. But... Uh, you know, it, it's always it's always okay. You know, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I tell my brothers. I mean, I tell my brothers out there. You know, what I'm saying there, there's nothing. You know, uh, nothing LGBTQ. Uh, no discrimination. I, I mean, I tell my brother. I say, hey, bro, I love you, man. If I didn't tell you I love you yesterday, I love you today. You know what I mean? 
it's always good to reach out to others out there. It's always good to to be able to inspire the soul, the innocent. You know, um, you know a lot of time, you know, we don't have, you know, we are missing things, you know, in our lives. You know, I was telling my friend the other day, you know, that you know, I, I you know today I, I'm a, I'm a I'm a blessed man. I'm so blessed today. I'm a happy man. You know, I'm happy because I'm single because I have no drama. And I'll tell you already, if you bring me the drama, I'm telling your mama. Yes, indeed. But but I'm 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 leading the life that I'm I'm supposed to lead. You know, I have a lot of progress to head out to, but I'm living the life I'm supposed to lead. But at the end of the day, there's always something that bothers me. There's always something that's, you know, that's always going to feel, you know, like give me to my depression. And it's always going to be my kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have my kids around me. I don't have my, my children, you know, to be able to uh, to grow with, to be able to, to share, you know, memories. You know what I'm saying? That's a depression. That is a depression right there. I mean, for someone you know who uh, who goes through a lot of uh, a lot of headaches, who goes through a lot of uh, sorrows, we all we, we all have a little depression in, in us. We all have something in us that we are lacking or we are missing. I can tell you all before, like my you know, I was depressed for for years when my father passed away. You know, I was I was losing myself. I wasn't sure who I was or if I was the man that he was looking after me. But I I never lost sight of uh, of who I was as a you know I you know as a person. Maybe as a soul, I was lost in many. And you know the thing is I'm 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 talking about this because you know we all have to pay attention to one another, you know. We all have to pay attention to those out there who they're not, you know, even though they're not crying, they're not showing that, you know, they're not showing that they are they're suffering, but there are signs out there to let you know, let you know, or let myself or others out there that this is awkwardly not right. Those type of signs don't don't come together with this person. You know, depression comes in all walks, like I said, I told you already earlier, from minuscule to grandma. You know, uh, from those out there who probably don't understand, you know, the, the, you know, the importance of, you know, reaching out to others out there. You know, we are losing good folks out there. We are losing good people out there. We are losing, you know, folks that, you know, we should have been saving. I can tell you right now, I could have been somewhere six feet under because if I didn't have a brain, if I didn't have a mindset, if I didn't know that I have hope, if my children didn't, Awaken me every time I was depressed, every time I was I was in my sorrows, crying every day about if I was gonna leave the next day, about if I was going to make it the next day, if I was a, if I was man enough, you know, to, to you know to live this life, if I was even a father enough to be able to take care of my kids tomorrow. I have to be able to learn that suffering is only temporary. I have to learn that people suffer only minuscule, only in, you know, only to, for a teaching moment. I have to learn that the depression I was, I was, I was going through, pretty much, was a learning curve about who I am as a person. A lot of people go, I, you know, uh, uh, people go through trauma, people go through distress, you know, death in the family. Um, you know, a bad relationship, uh, accidents, which is a natural cause. Um, and dysfunctionality, which can, you know, which can, uh, you know, which can create uh, P uh, PTSD. Because people don't understand that PTSD also uh, does exist in, in, in the rural urban streets. Not just in the military said not just you know to the military who go to war, fight, you know, fight for our freedom, still come back and still don't don't get the care that they deserve from its own governance. I'm uh I like I like to express that because I know a lot of people are probably or seeing somebody out there or saying, Oh man, what, what's wrong with this person? How come this person is acting like this? Why is this person is not acting the way they're supposed to act? Or you are crazy. 
Oh, I, I don't I don't like your attitude. Get away from me. Depression is real. Depression is not something that you should be laughing at. It's not something that you should be bullying. If somebody cries, if somebody is in, you know, is in, in sorrows and they're feeling hurt, you need to be able to reach out and ask yourself what can you do to be able to uplift this person, uplift the soul, inspire the innocent. You know, you know, in the United States, you know, it's pretty in the United States. In the big population, over over thirty five percent, over thirty five percent of the population in the United States are diagnosed with some type of depression. Over thirty five percent of American citizens, whether they're immigrants, American, whatever you want to call them, but living in the United States, over thirty five percent. Or either diagnosed with a mental, you know, a mental uh, challenge, or has sort of mental depression. Why are people depressed? Why are we depressed? Well, you know, you know, what are the cause? Are we depressed because you know we don't think that our lives matter? Are we depressed because our peers don't look at us the way we want to? You know, we want to be looked at. Are we depressed because of, for the simple fact that we are confused about our livelihood in, in this world? Depression is real. And for those out there who are making fun of someone who's, you know, who, who's depressed, who's crying over, over, you know, over some pain, over some trauma, shame on you. Maybe your ignorance should get up and be awakened and learn that the whole world is different. Now and there's the whole world is different. I heard some stories about you know like other people who are taking advantage of folks who are diagnosed with you know with uh, with any type any type of mental challenges. Y'all just heard a story about that one idiot at Hacienda Care that went and did some some crap out there, raping the you know the the young innocent lady. A lot of stuff going on in this work that are stressing the mind of the soul. I get depressed because of the lack of my support system or my livelihood. I get depressed not just because of my bad experience, or because of things that I, I miss in my life. I miss my dad, you know. I, I miss my dad a lot. It's Father's Day is coming. You now I miss my mom every day. You now I miss my family every day. People ask me how, when, when when the last time you've seen your family, and, I and you know that's something I don't like to elaborate on that. But it's it kills me on the inside when I tell them the time I have the last time I see my mother. Depression is real. Depression is not something to be joking with. Mm -hmm. It is not something that you have to lack of. I mean, it's not, I'm sorry. It's not something that you have to be, you know, lacking away from. I have friends, mm -hmm. peers of my life out there who, you know, they call me. They're always depressed, you know, through marriage, through relationship. I give them my life experience. And I give them... The, you know, the, the you know, life experience that I've been through. You know, I tell folks I'm not perfect. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, there's a difference between I have, I have three pe I have three people inside of me. Okay, there are three differences between Mr. Cleanby, Victor Sweet, and Fabrice. If y'all know my real name. Mm -hmm. Mr. Klimby is the one that comes to smile and give you all what you need, give the public what you know what mm -hmm. they want without asking the questions. Victor Sweet is more of a lover, more of a humble man, more of a caring. Fabrice is the 
person that people are usually questioning. Who is this for this guy? Now, the reason why I mentioned that is because just so, just so you know, I got three. I got three people inside of me that can I can actually be able to split those personalities. Not that I have split personality, but I can be able to redirect myself whenever I am in the environment. We have our children right now who are, you know, who are going through some dysfunction, dysfunction, dysfunctionality, excuse me, excuse my English. We have some mothers, we have people out there who are going through relationship and they are losing their mind. My thing is, you know, if you have a friend, if you have a family member who is depressed, if you have a family member out there who is crying for your help, crying for your assistance, if you're still confused about the awkwardness that you are receiving, you need to probably ask yourself, this is not right. This is not what I'm getting used to. Something ain't right in, in, in this picture. Why is my brother's keeper is crying so loud? Why is my sister is screaming? And you all know that a lot of time women are more depressed than men. Women are more depressed than men because a lot of women are going through trauma more than any any dudes. I'm not just trying to say no. Uh, like I said, depression has no equality, whether it's small or big. But as we look as as the life of each other, we've seen a lot of sisters, a lot of mothers, women who are who have been going through trauma, who are diagnosed with. Bipolar, bipolar, anger, angerism, bipolarism, schizophrenia, I mean, anything. Even a lack of trust is also depression. It's also a part of depression. We have a lot of people out there that we don't pay attention to. Shout out to uh, my brother, Novi, man. Like I said, Novi. Keep your head up, my brother. Keep your head up. I'm waiting. On, I'm waiting for you in Phoenix, Arizona, brother. I got. I got your song. I'm gonna play. It. Dedicate that for you, man. Because I know you'll be back, man. Depression is not something that you should be able to put it on the rug. Now I got something I like to share with you, real quick. When I mention about depression in women, do y'all know that uh, approximately 12, over 12 million women in America, in the United States, or, or, you know, have some sort of depression status quo? Mothers, women in general. I have a couple of friends, I got a couple of you know my peers, a couple of my sisters out there who always you know express the depression that they either face, they have, you know, you know, they they, they have encountered, they have going through. I always I always feel that there is always a cure for depression. There's always something that you gotta do. Depression can be beaten. The only time it is not beaten is because. If you have idiots out there on the streets, if you have ignorant people who are lacking of that education, of that morality, on uplifting somebody, on inspiring others, not just downgrading people, not just talk crap to somebody, but uplifting, elevating the mind. If some of those idiots out there can be able to regress themselves and have an education about learning from each other, maybe that that might be a, a another cure or two to pay attention to. I just said you know, approximately 12 million women out here living in America have gone through some sort of depression status quo. People always ask me, so 
was a clean D. So how did you escape uh, all that mental uh, diffusion that you were going through? I tell people, man, I tell folks, you know, uh, when I was depressed, and I'm going to be real with y'all, you know, I used to do a lot of crap. I used to do a lot of, uh, I used to drink a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to drink a lot to the point that, and I you know, and to the point that I would drink at eight o'clock in the morning. And I went to the store and and I wanted I wanted to buy a beer at eight o'clock because I didn't have a job. I was working in the labor hall. You know, those labor hall. You wake up at three in the morning. You know, say so you have to walk to the labor hall, wait for a job. If you don't have a job. You know, say that you have to go, you know, go collect some canes or trying to go find some hustle. But we're talking about like years ago when before Mr. Clean B emerged to the scene as a phoenix. I used to be depressed to the point that I will use alcohol to numb my depression. And always because I was going through a divorce, I didn't have my kids around me. You know, immigration was pretty mean to me, but. I love immigration today. God bless America. You know, my job status was, wasn't right. Wasn't great. Because I'm, I'm a workaholic. You know, I always keep a job. All of a sudden, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a divorce, separate from my ex, losing my kids, losing my job. Losing everything that I was, that was bringing, that was bringing my ego, that was bringing my, my manhood. Yeah, I was depressed for uh, for four years, but I was deeply depressed when I was going and using alcohol as a as a leverage to hide my pain. I was still grieving. I was still grieving about my father. I was still hiding the troublesome, the the pain. I was hiding that from my family because I didn't want my family to know that I was suffering. That I was going through a lot of crap, and I'm in America. How can you suffer in America? How can you go through this in America? You, you can go through this in America. You all, you 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 know, you all, you, you all for breeze. You all, Mister Clean B. You can suffer. You 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 get jobs and everything. I could not explain my struggle, my pain to my own peers because I was getting hurt inside. I was still getting hurt inside, and those hurt, those hurt was boiling inside of me to the point that I would escape and go get alcohol in, in, in early in the morning. Until one day, until one day, one day I actually walked in and I actually was praying for one until I, I saw this homeless man. I saw this man on the streets who, who actually was looking at me and said that bro why are you drinking in the morning the man just the man is drunk and he's telling me why am i drinking in the morning i just told him i just need to, to, to get some buzz you already know i need to get something and the drunk person is telling me bro you, you don't do that you're gonna hurt yourself you're gonna hurt your labor but you're gonna truly hurt yourself man i see you at the hall i know you're you're working you're a working man and then I walked in and said, okay, I, I was just ignoring the guy. I walked in, I looked, <laughs> I stare at the <laughs> at the beer case and everything. And and I looked in, uh I almost uh, I actually had tears and I just, I just grabbed water and I walked away. And I gave and I gave that dude a doubt. I said, bro, I was broke. I was broke. <laughs> We talking about 2010, okay? 2010, I was so diminished, so six foot under. I didn't have hope. I didn't have grace. I lost faith. I even was speaking ill against God, which is something I tell folks: do not do that. Don't ever speak ill will to God and your mother. Two people that you don't want to disrespect in your life. I was being disrespectful. I was being, 
I was being out of my element. It wasn't the person that my father brought in this country or the or my mother, my sisters, who saw me as, hey, you're going to be a soccer player. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. Because I was having all those dreams, but I lost all of them, man. I was lost. So the alcohol was my escape. Me. I guess I got some money. I drink the water. And as I was walking, I saw a, an ex-girlfriend of mine who asked me what I was doing. You know, why was I around the neighborhood? And I have to lie, of course. <laughs> so I can't, I can't hide, of course. But then as she left, I, I, I was crying. I went, I went around some corner with a dumpster. I was collecting kids and I start, I start to cry. I saw I saw to shed tears because I told myself this is not my life. This is not who I am. This is not for Brace. This is not what my mother or my father expected me to come out here in America. I'm not I'm not homeless. I'm I'm not I, you know, I, I'm not jobless. I have kids. I I had a family. I didn't want to accept the fact that everything I lost was all for a teaching moment. So from then I stopped pretty much going with the alcohol and uh, and literally literally just just start opening my opening up my eyes start seeing things differently I had a conversation with my sister the other day I was saying my sister I'm not the same person that I was <laughs> back in 94 back in 98 when i was married when i left my ex or when she left me for another man those are those are depression right there that that we have to pay attention to when, when i was jobless when i was looking for a job then i would pray that america would give me another chance to have a job I told my sister, all of those people, all of those men that grew in me are, are all wisdom. They're all wisdom of the person I am today. Because the person that I am today is not going back to the same lifestyle or going back to the same, making the same mistake. From relationship-wise to being focused on life. But it's not easy because you have, I still have to go through to those dilemma every day. Depression is real. Depression is serious. Depression is not something, again, that you want to be shoving under the rug. And we need to all pay attention to all our mothers out there, our women out there who are crying for us who are, you know, who are speaking their heart out, letting us know that, uh, you know, something's bothering them. I want to get back and I want to put some song. I want to I uh, represent my brother real quick. Uh, and I want to keep on continuing talking about this a little bit. Uh, but I want to be able to play uh, my boogie. I know a lot of people know him out here from Arizona. So definitely we're just going to represent. So I do apologize if uh, you're not, uh, you're only hearing me and not hearing anybody else. So because I just want to make sure everybody hears what I have to say today. And, so, and I want to keep it real. You know, so I want to keep it real. So uh, we're going to put this on real quick. Big shout out to Novi, man. Boss, man, I see you, man. Bless up. Yaga. Yeah, hey, hold back. Uh. It's Phantom Novi, I manifest in my thoughts Cause I got so many things in my brain Like how these niggas satisfied with all of them cars Holes in the holes if they mind is still shackled in chains The government be lying to them, make them blind Uh Yeah Phantom Novi Uh 
It's better to know me, I'm manifesting my thoughts Cause I got so many things on my brain Like how do you get dissatisfied with all of the cars When it's blown up, it's more of a mind It's still shackled in chains The government been lying to them, make them blind to them But their lives are so easy, they don't want it to change It's been 400 years and we still slave them for them Put the label for them, Bless up everybody, man. I'm just saying, I appreciate the love and support. Keeping it real today. Keeping it real today. Ah. Nobody wants to hear the real name, but you know, sometimes you gotta be able to express what you gotta express. So I'm not shying away. I'm just saying. So everybody, I appreciate the love and support. Eighty-five percent of the world still sleep. This is Class X, Class X Radio, live by Radio Phoenix. Yeah. Still sleeping. I appreciate the love. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because out of 45 people who are from this country, only one of them has ever wanted me to be free. They took away our heritage, they took away our language, brought us 9,000 miles to build a country for free. They called us stupid Hindus and they called us stupid, but I saw we kings and queens take a look at our history. Yeah, back to the motherland. We went to wherever you'll understand. The birthplace of every single man. All your roots are there. Need to seek them out, better be aware. The white you should have loved me. They walking around the world blind. What's going on with this? Got a blindfold on the third eye. That's why I know 85% of the world is still sleeping. 85% of the world is still sleeping. 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 Yes, 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 yes. You already know how we do. Oh, I see my Wakanda family in the building. Yes, yes. How you doing? You know, you already know black is beautiful. You already know. I gotta say, black is splendid. Yes, indeed. Respect the queens out there. Respect the queens or she will knock you out. Yes, indeed. She will sure knock you out. So we gotta give a respect to all the queens out there. And most definitely, they came out here to check, show some love. And uh, most definitely. You already know how we do. Really appreciate that boy doing the back come to talk to you, connect. I appreciate all the love and support, man, today. And uh, you know, like I said, you know, I just, I just want to take time to, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, be a little sincere today. Big up to our cheeseburger man for giving the platform. Hey, okay. Para 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 para. You're my darling, darling love. Yes, you're my darling, darling baby. Yes, I see joy every. Okay, I don't know the lyrics. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know the lyrics. Okay, I, let me stop. I got some guests in here, most definitely. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep it a uh, classy right now. Okay, so I push out a lot of support. So uh, earlier we just talking about you know uh, you know uh, depression, you know uh, talking about the the cause and you know how we need to pay attention to each other and. Pay attention to um, you know our livelihood and not to be uh, curious or be uh, uh, what's the word uh, uh, like nosy, you know. But uh, you know things that we can we can do. You know we can be able to uplift others out there. So as I said, I was giving my, I was giving an example of myself when you know when I was going through that depression. And, you know um, you know uh, I and uh, I, you know, I stop all the unnecessary, unhealthy habits I was going through, and and I have to find, I and I have to realize first of all, you know, the thing about depression is, you know, one thing I learned about depression is you have to be able to recognize the problem. 
You know what I'm saying? There, there's there's no cure. There's no pills that you can take. I'm not talking about go uh, smoke something. I'm mean, even though it might help the brain, but I'm not. That's not the whole point. You know, uh, first you have to be able to recognize depression. You have to be able to recognize it and accept that something is wrong with you. You know, a lot of time I would I, I would tell myself like, okay, you know, something, you know. Uh, this issue, well, you know, uh, this issue doesn't seem right. So, why am I doing this? Why am I? Why did I took uh, took the initiative to go and buy uh, and, and uh, think about poisoning myself? Why was I even thinking that? So, I have to be able to accept the fact that my problem was real. My, you know, the alcohol issue that I was facing to my depression was real. So I have to be able to accept that, be ashamed about it, whether it's a shameful thing or not a shameful thing, but be able to accept that I have an issue, I have a problem. So how can I be able to escape that problem? What I will do is I will be able to Talk to people. Talk to my people. Now, I won't say this. You know, uh, everybody got. I say everybody got different type of depression. I, I'm just giving it a, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the one of the one of the samples of one of my depression back in the day. You got to be able to recognize that there's something wrong, and once you recognize that, you know, seek you know seek for counseling, mm -hmm. seek for uh, for something prosperous. You know, some folks go to church, others talk to families, or they go see a counselor. I just laugh a lot. I, I, that one thing is I actually got the, the joy of laughing again. Laughter is the best medicine. Because when I was young, you know, I grew up, I grew, my, family is, my family is a bunch of jokesters, you know what I'm saying? The Beirut family, we all a bunch of jokesters. We all poke on each other, roast each other because we laugh. Like my mom, you know, my mom, they call her, you know, bad, you know, they call her Auntie Joy because she smiles to, to, to the whole community. And I and I got the bloodline from my mom and my dad to where when people see me, they, they see, why, why, you, why you always smile? Why you always, you always, you know, grind, you always smile and everything. I say I smile be, not just because I'm happy, I smile because life gave me the opportunity to smile, to be happy, to be able to be and to be thankful that I'm breathing again. But also I'm smiling because I see you. I see how you're doing. And I love you. So that's one thing I have to get back on my blood is laughter. Now everybody, not everybody is like me. I'm not saying, oh, stop having jokey jokes and blah, blah, blah. But laughter is the best medicine because when you... Uh, When you find that rhythm of happiness, when you find that that cure, that simple, that smallest thing that that can bring joy in, in, inside of you, inside your soul, it heals every bacteria inside your body, man. So I have to be able to find out that that cure, that that laughter in, into my depression. Then I have to be able to humble myself because a lot of time when we go through that, you know, when we go through all those traumas and, you know, it's, it's all, like I said, it's, like I said earlier, it's all about uh, life teaching. It's all about teaching moments. You, you know, you're learning those teaching. You're learning that, that challenge, that life challenge that you just face. So you got to be able to. Grabs that indeed. There's a cure for you know for us you know for our frustration for our angerism for our depression. There's a cure for that, and the cure can be the most simplest, simplest morality, simplest aspect, simplest nature that we we encounter in our life. So I'm escaping my depression every day. I'm escaping my challenges every day. 
So I have to stop the bad habit of, you know, going to the store and, you know, uh, having some sort of, uh, you know, uh, mental blockage. So my life is the best medicine and positivity is also a good medicine as well. I'm gonna play some song, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna people play some song real quick. Uh, we're gonna play some little, uh, some little after beats. Actually, I want, I'm gonna put some stuff about uh, my, my sisters. Can I put some song, song, song about my sisters? Let, let's, do let's, do let's do that. We're gonna, we're gonna come right back. See that with this uh, class act radio. Wrong show, wrong show, class act radio. We like it. Hey, yeah. All right. Everybody, thank you so much. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure why this is not working. Natural says. Okay, I have to read this. Natural sister. Natural sister. Shout to the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Yes, yes. We love you. Come to the Bois. Je vous aime. Man, I'm about yes, to sign. Eat some opera tonight. Eat some My opera tonight. When you met me, 
I had broken up. When you met me, I was full of pain. When you met me, I was confused. When you met me, I tried to find me. Oh, baby, every new day. Bring a mala. Hey, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Y'all can follow me, man. Class Act Radio. Shout out to Cheeseburger, man. You already know. When you met me, I had broken heart. Y'all can call me, man. Call me. When you met me. Do y'all want my phone number? If you want my phone number, let me know. I'll give you my phone number. 602. Three five four eight eight two three. Call me right now. I answer the phone for you real quick. Just call me. Any new day, every new day, any new day. Hey, oh, oh, oh. bless I and I. Every new day, every new day. Mm -mm. Hey, for your love, for your love. When is your pool party? Oh my God! Look, look, look. pool party. Uh, uh, uh. I had one last Saturday. Yes, I would love to come to your pool party. When is that going to be? Tomorrow? Let me know. I, I just had two pack two months ago. I just got four packs. I oh my got my six pack. Well, five and a half, five pack and a half. I come to the pool party. There's a pool party. Yes. Where is it? Share it, please. Share it, please. Share it, please. Where's the pool party? The 26. 26. Ah, uh, it's a Sunday. Yes. Yes. Am I all VIP? Am I all VIP? Because you know. Oh, okay, okay. I, I gotta be VIP. I'm coming up. I'm coming up with speedos, okay, sexy like a like a top model on the catwalk. You know what I'm talking about? So yes, VIP. Come with the speedos, man. Yes, indeed. That's how we're gonna do. Let's get back. Let's get back to. You gonna DM me? All right, all right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Hey, yes. General Chifari. Yes, indeed. I love it. Yes. Ladies, all the love, shout out to all the ladies out there, all the love songs out there, most definitely. Most for your Jenny Rashifari in the new day, most definitely. Big shout out to uh Rachel uh official. She just invited me to her pool party. So thank you, Rachel. Yes, I definitely will be at your pool party because uh I just came from another pool party, which I believe that pool party was probably the best pool party ever, man. The Wildlife Fest uh, in Lavina, Arizona. Big shout out to DJK Entertainment. Big shout out to Baby G. Oh my gosh. For those out there who was not at that pool party, it was it was lit. Okay, that pool party was an event to remember, most definitely. That's all I could say. Wildlife Fest, hope they're coming back 2020 because you know I'm going to be in the building, most definitely. And before I go back to my uh, little segment of the day, one way you can support Radio Phoenix is by becoming one of our members. For as little as $35 per year, members receive discount savings and other benefits provided by our membership program partners. And don't forget, the membership fee is tax deductible. For more information or to sign up, you can call 480-829-5746 or go online to radiophoenix.org. Click on the support tab at the top and then become a member and drop that menu. We thank you for your generous support of Community Radio. Yeah. La la. Oh, we, oh man. Okay, let me see what, okay, I'm about to put you on blast right now, Rachel. Rachel and official. I love the name. You can be VIP if you bring someone. Oh, oh yes, of course. 
Mr. Clean Beagle to bring someone at the pool party. Yes. You know, I can bring I can bring muscle dudes or I can bring some sexy ladies, man. Which one? You can let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all ladies out there love those buff dudes, those six two, you know what I'm saying, 225 cut up muscle guy. You know what I'm talking about? If it's not the beer game you like, it has to be some football player or some basketball player. I was told that women likes tall men. I don't know why y'all like tall men, but I kind of have an idea why y'all like tall men. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm going to just elaborate on what happened, you know, at the pool party, man. And, uh, and actually, you know, get up from you know, uh, the depression segment, because we are going to talk about that on my show, the mm -hmm. Yaga Movement Radio mm -hmm. Cast. So stay tuned to the Yaga Movement Radio Cast tomorrow at 2 p.m. I have my sister in the building, a special guest, special guest and co-host, okay? Lydia, she's going to be in the building most definitely, so bless up. Thank you for the opportunity. And don't forget, too, don't forget May 31st, okay? May 31st, okay? It is Find Yourself, BI Collection, they're gonna they're gonna bring you no know, bring it up for y'all, you know, to uh bring the awareness, okay, about you know what's happening in our neighborhood, you know, in our community, you know, from depression to fashion to music to you know, bring awareness, you know, to the community period. Find yourself May 30, uh, May 31st, that's a Friday, 7 p.m. And it's gonna be 4,000 North Central Avenue, and that's uh the Hilton Garden. Uh, hotel most definitely so get your tickets on even bright uh myself uh DJK entertainment radio phoenix so far as saying entertainment we're going to be in the building most definitely so don't forget to take it and also we have the sunlight before sunset june 22nd most definitely so get your tickets most definitely you already know uh but i definitely will be at the pool party on the 26th yes indeed now i just i just witnessed um uh, Real love, true love. And I want to give a shout out to DJ K and I want to give a shout out to Baby G, uh, both from DJ K Entertainment. Now, the reason why I bring the name up is because, you know, uh, to me, I look at them today as, as my role model. Not just as a role model of, of solidarity, of fidelity, but of real pure love. Now, those out there who know DJ K, you know, one of the you know, one of the top DJ out here in Arizona, you know what I'm saying, travel from Utah to Texas to LA to the East Coast, you know what I mean? And Baby G, you know, songwriter, uh uh artists, you know, uh, poets, you know what I'm saying, two mind like coming together, man. Two mind like coming together, man. And uh, and the reason why I, I bring them up is because you know. Their love brought me tears last Saturday. You know, uh, their way, I, you know, the, the surprise proposal, which was held by DJ K, was definitely genius, genius, was a, mem a memorable experiment to, uh, to witness. Now, I've never, this is my first time ever to witness uh, two people, you know, you know uh, be engaged. You know, uh, and it was beautiful to see, man. It was so beautiful to see. And by me saying this, in, in the pure love with our black love, that melanin love combining together was just a beautiful scenery, man. I can tell a lot of people out there, some people have, you know, different feelings. They, you know, but I can tell the whole, the whole crowd was crazy. The whole mm -hmm. crowd was crazy. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm talking about when, I, when I'm talking about love. Now, that brother and that sister, they've been together for years. For years. For years. And, and the reason why I, I say that they all, I look at them as my role model today, is the simple fact that their love is very traditional. Their love is what we need to pay attention to and learn from. It. I'm not just saying it because, yes, he's a DJ K Entertainment. He's my. Yeah, you know, that's my DJ. We promote together. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with uh, with DJ. And for those out there who who are married, who who believe in the sanctity of love, bless you, bless your heart, bless your soul, bless your minds, bless everything you put your mind into, most definitely. Because 
We need you to be out there to teach us the power of love. We need you to, to tell us that, hey, when we meet someone, we have to be observant, be able to learn mm -hmm. from our mistakes. Be able to learn from our love. When I see DJ K and Baby G, when I saw them together, I saw happiness, I saw elevation, I saw harmony, I saw fidelity. I saw togetherness, I saw we did it, but we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. Oh yeah. But I saw pure love last Saturday at the, at the Wildlife Fest at Lovina, Arizona. Now, maybe I'm not in love. I was laughed at by other people because since I'm going to all the events, they always say, oh, so now you're looking for love tonight. I'm Mr. Clean V. I said, nah, not me. I'm not the love, WWE. No, no, no. I'm so committed to my money right now. That's my love. I'm not saying outdoor money. That's not what it is. But I'm just committed to my money. That's my relationship. My money, my job, my hustle, my, my movement is my relationship today. With all the respect to good love out there. But I cannot deny the real love that I just witnessed. Because everybody was shocked that, that, that day. Everybody was shocked. Including the fiancé was shocked. But the way that DJK said on Saturday was real, was pure, was real, was simply pure, real, and honest. And I hope that every man out there, including myself, can learn from that brother, my brother's keeper from South Sudan, mm -hmm. representing all across Africa. I'm learning from him. I'm learning from his relationship. I'm learning from how does he keep his love going. The challenges that he faces, him in, in his soon-to-be wife. The challenges that they face. How can I be able to learn from that and be able to be an example? And love is good when you receive it, though. Trust me. Love is so good when you receive it, man. Love is so good when you receive it. Yes. I'm, uh, I want to play this song real quick for them. So DJ K, Baby G, for everybody out there who, uh, who are engaged, who are married, who are in foundation of a, of a marriage. Don't give up. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on your foundation. Ooh, wine. Yes, I got the wine over there. Yeah. After party. After party. Yes, indeed. I got that wine. <laughs> yeah. See, the, see, I'm talking about love and they got wine for me. Yes, indeed. But I believe in, in the security of love. I, I believe that for those out there who are in the relationship, man, before you tell yourself in 2019 that, hey, man, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Seek for help. Seek for counseling. Man. Seek for, for answers, man. I don't, want you to be, I don't want you to be like me. I don't want you to be a divorcee man like myself from Wakanda. Because I believe that love is, is a challenge, but love conquers all. You all you're hearing me, right? Love conquers all. Love conquers all. And what DJ K and BG taught me that night at that moment is that I still have hope for love. I still have hope to find the one that will treasure my heart, my soul, not be too judgmental about myself or about who I am as a person, but understand, appreciate, and compromise with my spirits. 
And I would love that one day God brings me a queen that's going to be able to elevate not, not just my mind, but my status. Or a queen that will be able to understand my struggle and where I'm heading so we can both share that prosperity together. So I want to play this special song for you, DJ K and Baby G. I was supposed to call you, but uh, that ain't going to happen. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep it love right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm gonna play y'all a little on Jagged Edge. If you don't mind, you know what I mean. And this goes out for everybody out there in love. Okay. Okay. If, if you're in love, please just uh, let me know. You know what I'm saying? How you feel? And uh, spread the love, indeed, and share the love. Let's get married. Oh. I was gonna play it, would you tell you this? Give me some and so my heart. The relevant. This love that's all I think about. Give you relationship. You need to give this fall. Let's think about. Thoughts. Oh, let's get married, man. Let's get married. Okay. Don't break up. Spread love. Share the love. Meanwhile, I will grab some wine right now. Hey, hey, let's get married. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> Long ago. Oh, I don't think about it. Okay, I do apologize. I do not know the lyrics like that, but uh, if you know the lyrics, okay, y'all y'all can sing it with me, okay? That's all I can say. Deep in one night, I know that you're real with me. And then let's start a family. Oh, oh, the wild dress. Oh, I don't know how to say it, but I might as well do it. It's going fast. Girl, I want to get married. Let's just get married. Girl, I want to get married. Why don't you marry me? You'll be lying all this time, girl. Bless up. I'm almost done. Cheeseburger, I'm so sorry, cheeseburger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Might as well do it. Do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well do it. Do it. I must confess. Let's get married. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm about him knocking the boots. Knocking your boot on Friday night. <laughs> yeah. Y'all already know, man. Bless love most definitely, man. Y'all already know how we do. Check it out. Tonight, y'all can go at Jello King 3 to 5. They got the Afrobeats tonight. Big shout out to our Kingdom Light Entertainment. Afrobeats Friday, Saturday at uh, the Con Concierge right over there on 1140 East Washington Streets. And that's Saturday. So tonight, everybody can be at Gojo King. I mean, I'm sorry, Jollof King. I said Gojo? I'm sorry. Gojo is the Ethiopian. I'm sorry. Jollof King, okay? I'm, I'm seeing Jollof King, okay? Jollof King, Tempe, Arizona, 325 West Elliott Road, most definitely. And you can go out there and celebrate the Afro diaspora, most definitely. Now, before I go, I want to say thanks for everybody out there for uh for joining me today on the Class Act Radio. Uh, Brother Cheeseburger will be back next Friday. Uh, most definitely, y'all can tune in every Friday. Do tune in every Friday from 9 p.m. until 11 p.m. And check my show tomorrow at 2 p.m. He, right here at RadioFreeze.org. And I will give y'all what you need, most definitely. Knock of the boot. Ah, y'all hear, hear the background, right? Because that's what we're going to be doing. Knocking the boot out here again. Oh, yes. Because, you know, the Echo Man Radio Cast, don't face the funk. Because what we do again? Oh, uh, yeah. Come to the Echo Man Radio Cast, RadioFreeze.org. Because we are going to get you. Oh, yeah, we're going to knock them boots out of your face. Oh, gee, yes, indeed. So, uh, for those out there who are making love tonight, yes, please make love and with no babies. For those out there who are funny love, be kind to your love, indeed. For those out there who are spreading love, be glad that you are in love. And for those out there who ain't got no love, well, <clears throat> breaking news, meet me up at Jill of King tonight. And for all the single ladies out there, all the sexy single ladies, no crazy and bless up most definitely. Everybody out there, I want to say thank you for joining us today. Thank you all for uh, joining me through the Class Act Radio. Uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow I have our sister Lydia coming through for the Yaga Movement Radio Cast. And next week I got the boss lady, uh, Kisha McGee, who are, who are also going to be out here for Find Yourself, you know, educate us about, you know, more about uh, depression and you know what's happening in our societal and most definitely we're just going to keep the party going because you know mr clean b you know what i'm saying i gotta get my little uh red red wine nah y'all already know we do baby so uh shout out to everybody man make love tonight if you, if you can make making love tonight please no kids okay hide them kids y'all and that's what we're going to be doing knocking the boots somebody knocking the boots sex with chocolate oh Somebody rockin' knockin' devil Somebody rockin' knockin' devil I'm done. Thank you very much. Somebody rockin' knockin' devil